I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, I'm sure many of you guys out there love to use Instagram, but there's one thing about Instagram that's very annoying, is for people like me who store most of their photos and videos on their computer, because of course I don't use my smartphone to do most of my photography, I use, I use a real camera for that, um, it's, not, it's not a particularly easy thing to, to upload stuff to Instagram from a computer. Technically, uh, it's not really supported. Now, recently, Instagram, in their app, they updated it for one, the uh, Windows 10 app to where if your computer has a touch screen, oh yeah, you can, you can upload just as usual. But if, you're, uh, if your device does not have a touch screen, you can't, which is rather weird, to be honest. But there are some ways you can actually go around this. And um, one of the ways you can do it is using a... Um, it's going into your Chrome web browser, for example, and switching over to inspect mode, inspect element, <clears throat> and changing the, uh, the intended device from desktop to mobile. But there are some limitations there. You can only upload like one photo at a time. However, the method I might show you <clears throat> gives you the full app experience like on a smartphone. So the method I'm going to use is, is the BlueStacks player. Now, I've already actually installed it on my computer. Um, just go on Google and look up BlueStacks app player. What it is, it's actually an um, Android emulator. So I'll go ahead and launch it. And as mentioned, it's it's a um, Android emulator, to where you can run Android apps inside this emulator. And the trick is you can run Instagram inside this, and use it like you would on a smartphone. So once you install BlueStacks, you'll sign into your Google account. And once that's complete, you th you can then go to the Google Play Store and download the Instagram app, which I'm sure most of y'all would know how to do. Okay, so I went ahead and launched the Instagram app, and I went ahead and clicked the little button, the little plus button at the bottom of the screen, which brings us into the upload section. And of course, if you are not familiar with the these controls on the bottom of the app, here they are. So, anyways, if you're doing this for the first time, you're not going to see anything here because your gallery is going to actually be empty. So what you have to do is click the little down arrow and choose other. And then you can do pick from windows. And you can go ahead and pick whatever photos you would like. Okay, so I've gone ahead and select a uh, went ahead and selected a photo. Choose open. Now, I'm still kind of new to this myself. <clears throat> Ideally, what's better is if you can get to the Media Manager, you can choose Import from Windows. And by default, it takes you into your Documents folder, and you can go over to Pictures and import multiple files at the same time. So as you may see, I've selected multiple files and more than just these, um, more than just these five here. But So I'm going to choose Open. And it's going to import all the stuff that you choose, and you can see this interface is really like looking at an Android tablet. It's exactly what this is. So I'm going to actually select a few more things, and we'll go and resume in a moment. Okay, so I went ahead and. I um, imported a whole bunch of um, random things. And also I should mention that there is also an export to Windows option here too. So let's say if you download something within the app, you can choose that to export it to your machine. Okay, so yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff imported in here. And I just got to figure out how to get, get myself a shortcut for Media Manager to where I can easily just access it right away.
So let's go back to Instagram. So in Instagram, if we look, okay, so I had to exit out of the uh, upload part of the app and then go back into it. You can see now that all the other photos have have popped up. So what's nice here is, um, okay, I, I gotta I gotta remind myself that to use this you actually have to drag up and down like on a phone because again we are emulating an actual app so what's cool here is it it, it functions just like the uh, smartphone interface so let's say if I want to upload multiple things at the same time you can select multiple Like I said, if I wanted, if I wanted to do, um, just a post about lightning strikes and whatnot, because of course you know I love thunderstorms. I could select multiple photos of you know lightning. So I got this one here too. I think that's every one of them. Okay, so that's all of them. So if I hit next, again, here's all here's all the pictures I've I've selected, and that's a really that's a really good one there. That's actually a, a video still. <clears throat> you can choose your filter and whatnot. <clears throat> And I'm going to give this a caption. And if you like to, you can also choose <clears throat> Also post to Facebook or whatever you'd like to do. So I'm going to leave it like it is. And then I can click share. And you can see it's up on Instagram now. All the various... Um, shots I have here. You see the nice thing about this is um you know I couldn't get this off of a smartphone because of course most of these video stills were shot from my wetter case cameras on CubeComp MTDX. Yeah, that was a very interesting lightning strike there. I was outdoors when I, I was, matter of fact, I was starting my camera when that struck. And there were no storms right here in the immediate area. There were storms a few miles around us at the time. Comes to show just how unpredictable lightning is, but that was an amazing shot there. So yeah, um, that is how you can upload stuff to Instagram through your computer. Um, I think using the BlueStacks player... Um, emulator is probably I say the best way of doing this on any device that you don't have a touch screen on so until Instagram officially supports uploading from a computer through their Windows 10 app this is the way you can do it so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching well guys that's it for this one but it doesn't have to be. There's plenty more videos on the channel to check out. Also, if you liked the video, please click the like button. And if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. And remember to click the bell so that we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel. It's CubeComp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, 
bicycling and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for your support.